We love our fatty foods, but unfortunately, there's a price to pay. Today, Europe has one of the highest incidences of a disease known as the silent killer, type 2 diabetes. And like our stomachs, the number's rapidly growing. Professor Bente Karl und Pedersen is all too aware of this 21st century disease. Type 2 diabetes is uh, one of the major uh, problems in the Western world, which is due to their lazy uh, lifestyle and the fact that they eat too much. This is Sven. He may look healthy, but in fact his health is on a knife edge. So he started uh, around uh, my 30 year birthday because uh, since then uh, my weight has increased uh, by one kilo per year. So then I started to feel a little bit more tired. My uh, condition wasn't, uh, was not as good, good as it used to be. Svent doesn't have full-blown diabetes, but like many of us, his lifestyle is pushing him dangerously close. I'm an engineer. I'm sitting in front of a computer from a early morning to the late afternoon. I'm only uh, walking, you know, a few hundred meters per day. If I do not uh, make a change, then I will uh, certainly develop into a type 2 diabetes. Without action, the doctor's prognosis of Sven could mean his future's bleak. People with type 2 diabetes will have increased risk of cardiovascular disease, of dementia, of cancer, and uh, they may end up with organ failure. The change all of us need to embrace if we're to fight this disease is a change in lifestyle. Recently, Benta and her team made a breakthrough in understanding why we should all take regular exercise. So we discovered then uh, that when muscles contract during exercise, then muscles release what we call myokines. The myokine protein acts as a messenger, telling the major organs that the body's exercising which in turn stimulates these organs, helping them to work efficiently. And that can probably explain why exercise will protect you from dementia, cardiovascular disease, kidney failure, and many other diseases related to type 2 diabetes. If myokines aren't enough to make you get on your bike, perhaps the work of the European Exgenesis project will. This unique collaboration has helped scientists better understand how a little exercise can go a long way in preventing diabetes. One of the biggest discoveries came from the understanding of a small enzyme with a big effect. It's called AMPK. How's it going, guys? Professor Graham Hardy at Dundee University headed the research. The AMPK fits into the story of type 2 diabetes basically because we believe, through work that's been done by the Exgenesis Consortium, that it, it's responsible for many of the metabolic responses to exercise, uh, including increased glucose uptake, which, which is something that obviously is very beneficial to someone with type 2 diabetes who has this high blood glucose. A high glucose level in the blood is the root cause of diabetes. It works like this. After a meal, the rise in blood glucose, shown in blue, triggers a release of the hormone insulin from the pancreas. The insulin, in green, triggers the cell to take in the glucose. In overweight people, the cells grow resistant to insulin. To compensate, the pancreas secretes more insulin, but eventually fails. Then the blood glucose level rises dangerously, causing damage to blood vessels. Fat, shown in yellow, forms in the cells of the artery wall, slowly blocking it. It's this resistance to insulin which is the root cause of full-blown type 2 diabetes. So obviously, when a muscle is working, it, it uses energy. Uh, and that energy has to be replaced, and it, it's a bit like recharging the battery. And uh, th this is done by um, taking up glucose and fats from, from the bloodstream, uh, and what's commonly called burning them off, uh, which replenishes or recharges the battery. 
And what the AMPK system does really is it is acts as a sensor which, which detects when the battery charge is running low and it switches on the metabolism in order to correct that. In Denmark, Professor Eric Richter has helped to show the important relation between the AMPK enzyme and exercise. In a muscle from a fit subject compared to one who is less fit, you will see a much higher activity of AMP kinase in the muscle in the fit subject, even in the resting state. So that means that if you are fit, you get the benefits of high AMP kinase activity even when you're not exercising. And that's great news because AMPK seems to aid metabolism, which in turn lowers sugar levels in your blood. Oh, very good. Well done. Excellent. Thank you very much. Exhausted. <laughs> But what if we turn this thought on its head? What would happen to insulin production if we took no exercise at all? Professor Alan Farg in Copenhagen discovered the answer through a beautifully simple experiment. Take a number of male volunteers, some of whom had risk factors for developing type 2 diabetes, and some who didn't, and place them in bed for 10 days. Not surprisingly, Alan found he had a number of willing students. The results were intriguing. One major surprise we uh, experienced with normal healthy men, when they are exposed to bed rest, we could see that they develop severe resistance to the action of insulin, both in the muscle and to some extent also in the liver. But then they, they did not develop type 2 diabetes because they were able to increase their insulin formation, their insulin secretion in the pancreas. The pancreas was producing more insulin to compensate for the lack of exercise in healthy men. But for those prone to diabetes, the result was very different. They were unable to increase their insulin secretion when they developed a lack of insulin action during bed rest. However, after a few weeks of exercise, insulin production in both sets of males returned to normal, proving exercise helps in preventing type 2 diabetes, whether you're prone to developing it or not. We all know it's important to take exercise, but the results from exogenesis explain why, and they send a clear message. One way to beat diabetes is to keep fit, and the other is to give up our fatty diets for healthier food. It's really amazing that uh, if you just take regular exercise uh, 30 minutes every day, then you can be protected against type 2 diabetes. And even if you have just uh, had a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes, then you can sort of reverse the whole situation so that you can become healthy again. It's down to us to live a healthier lifestyle. And remember the old adage, prevention is better than cure. So the battle against this silent killer begins at home. My uh, best advice of uh, reducing the risk of uh, diabetes would certainly be you should uh, make a program uh, for which you uh, will uh, stay active in uh, a way which you can integrate into your uh, daily life. It's all uh, the, the small thing that matters uh, in the long run.